About 60% of people killed in hit and run crashes are pedestrians. Forty-seven percent of fatal hit-and-run crashes occur between 9 p.m. and 3 a.m. One person is hit by a vehicle every eight minutes in the United States alone. Twenty percent of all fatal pedestrian accident cases in 2007 were hit-and-run incidents. Florida ranks third in the nation with an average of 3,300 hit-and-run accidents annually. Hi, my name is Carrie Boone and on January 17, 2009, my daughter, Samantha Hastings, left to go to a bonfire at her friend's house and several hours after that, we came to find out that Samantha had been struck and killed by a hit-and-run driver. Please state your full name. Candy Cummings. Rodney Clarence Cummings. And can you briefly explain to me what happened on the 16th of January? Uh, the girl jumped out of the car. I thought, well, I was kind of hoping that it was just a dog I hit, but I, I didn't know and um, I was too scared to stop. Candy is bipolar and she, she panicked and took off. But whenever you realized that it was a person, did you have time to maybe, you know, slow down or swerve or do something to keep from hitting them? Uh, I tried to miss her, but she just ran right out in front of my car. Yeah, I heard a mirror flew off, but that's all I know. Whenever you came upon her, was her back turned towards you, or her front, or side, or what? Her face was towards me, but I was just scared. I didn't know what to do. Were you scared, maybe because you didn't have a driver's license? No, I wasn't scared because of that. I was, I was scared because I didn't know what I hit. But you did not have your driver's license, correct? Yeah. She was like... Oh my God, I hit an animal. We had no idea we hit anybody. I heard some talk in the town that some girl got hit, but that's before y'all got here. Right before y'all got here, me and Candy was talking about it. We was just thinking about, well, it may not have been an animal, that it could have been a girl. And Candy was so scared. She's scared to death. Candy Cummings was sentenced to minimum jail time and years of house arrest for the hit and run of Samantha Hastings. After violating her parole multiple times, Candy Cummings was sent to state prison where she is currently residing. It's important to know that anytime there's a pedestrian hit by a car, there's almost always significant injuries. Mm -hmm. So we look for the obvious when we first arrive at the scene, witnesses. We want to nail those folks down, get their stories and their statements. We look for any physical evidence that's left at the scene, mm -hmm. which would include obviously on a hit and run driver parts of the vehicle. And from there, we would want to find the vehicle itself. Then we take the, the, the evidence from the scene and match it up to the vehicle. There's really no mandatory sentences for just a hit and run driver, I think there should be. Mm -hmm. But the judge can take into consideration 
and should take into consideration mm -hmm. that, hey, this person already had a suspended license, so they were already violating the law. They were already ignoring what was right. Well, the law says that you have to stay at the scene of a crash mm -hmm. to render aid and assistance. If you hit and run and you stay with that person, that means the world to the family of that victim. Because had the young lady that hit my daughter stayed with her and held her hand or prayed with her, that would have meant the world to us. But when someone hits and runs on your family member, it sends a message to you in your head that they just didn't think your daughter or your son's life was worth anything. Candy Cummings was found to have been driving without a license on the night that Samantha was hit. When she was driving without a license and she hit and run and, and fled, and we were able to build a case against her in my estimation, and if I had the way I wanted it, she would have gone to prison the first time out. Now, she's currently in the prison system right now, mm -hmm. but she was given house arrest. She violated her probation two or three different times. The judge tried to be sensitive that she had some issues and to help her out. She continued to ignore the judge, and she's now in state prison. There, there is an organization called Fight Hard, Fight Against Hit and Run Drivers. That organization was founded by Tandy Cavney and Carrie Boone, the mothers of hit and run victims Scotty Reeves and, uh, and Sammy Joe Hastings. We have started Fight Hard because we want the laws changed. We want tougher, stricter laws. We want you to know if you hit and you run and you are drinking and you are driving, if you injure somebody by that hit and run, if you kill somebody by that hit and run, we are going to make sure that you go to prison where you should be. These two ladies have worked very hard. They've gone to the legislature. I've supported them when they went up there and tried to get hit and run driving, made a minimum mandatory sentence. And quite frankly, the reason I think the legislature has not done that at this particular time is because we have this very difficult economic situation. And if you make hit and run driving a minimum mandatory, it's going to up the prison population automatically, mm -hmm. regardless of their past history, and cost more money.